Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Fabi, and welcome to Arrows DIY. Today I'm going to be showing you three DIYs inspired by three YouTubers that I really admire. All these DIYs today will be shabby chic, perfect if you love that aesthetic. Now let's get started. For DIY number one, this is my inspiration, created by Sherry over at Canterbury Cottage. I'll leave her link in the description below. So I had this lampshade lying around. Um, I used it for my daughter's nursery. It was on top of her crib and it was a woodland theme, but she's older now and she doesn't need it. So now we're going to make it into something I can actually use. So using the yarn, you're gonna go ahead and tie a knot at the top of the lamp. Then you're gonna feed that string down to the bottom part of the lamp, wrap it around twice, and then go back around to the top of the lamp through the inside of the lamp. So I'm gonna try to show you a couple times what I'm doing so you can see what I'm, what I'm doing. It's just kind of hard because there's different angles. So what I do is I go from the top, I loop it around once, and then I go to the bottom and I loop it around twice. Once on the left side of the string and once on the right side of the string. So again, from the top here, you can see I string it over, over the top, around the loop, go down. We're gonna go around the left side of the string at the bottom and around the right side on the bottom of that string, same string. Sorry if it's, it's kind of hard to, to describe, but basically I'm just going to show you a couple times and that's what you're going to do, what you're going to end up with at the end. So I'm just going to show you the same thing a couple times. We're going to do the same thing, skip a section there on the lamp and then we're going to go from the top, you're going to run it around one time to the top and then go to the bottom and run it one time to the left, another loop to the right, and then just feed it right back up to the top. And you're gonna continue that until you're basically done. And then I did the same thing with the, with the khaki colored yarn and it got destroyed and I was freaking out because I don't understand why the yarn does that. Now I'm gonna use this ribbon that I got, this lace ribbon that I got from BB Craft. If you didn't see what I got from BB Craft, you could check out my video before. Um, and I got beads, I got a whole bunch of cool stuff. So check out that video and then you're gonna see that I'm gonna be using them in the next couple videos. These pictures are showing you the design that I made with the lace on each side around the lamp. And I finished the bottom trim with that side there. And that's it, the lamp is done. This is part of the Try It Tuesday playlist hosted by Sammy over at Unicorn Dust Designs and co-hosted by Christy over at Christy Creates DIY. I'll leave their links in the description below, but both of these are also inspirational DIYers. Definitely, definitely have to check them out if you haven't already. Now my for DIY number two, um, I'm inspired by Liz over at the official craft nerd. I'll leave her link below as well in the description. Now I'm gonna use some of this scrapbooking paper that I have on hand. I got this at Michael's on sale when they had that 75% sale. So I'm gonna take this tag sign, flip it over, and use Mod Podge. I used the glossy Mod Podge for this one because I wanted it to be a little shiny. So then I applied the scrapbooking paper onto that tag sign. I didn't show you because I think I think you know how to put on scrapbooking paper. So now I took some burlap that I had on hand and I'm just making a bow. So <clears throat> if you don't have burlap ribbon, you could just buy burlap. I got mine at Walmart and I just cut a about two inch width ribbon. And um, now I'm just using jute twine from the Dollar Tree. 
and I wrap that around that wood a couple times and I'm just gonna make like a messy bow for the top of our tag sign for our shabby chic look so now I'm gonna make like little tails for the bow that we just made and I want them to have those frayed edges so I just pulled off some of those strings I completely forgot what it's called there's a fancy word for it um, but I'm just going to fray these out and I'm just leaving about three of those strings down the middle and fraying the rest out and these little strings these ribbons I cut out one inch in width so I made two of those for the bottom of the bow and now I'm taking all my pretty ribbons that I like that I think have that shabby chic feel. So my sheer ribbon from Dollar Tree, I have a pink and a black one, and all these pretty ribbons from BB Craft. I'll leave their link in the description below if you wanna get some of that lace ribbon as well. So this assortment they gave me is full of white lace ribbon as well as that off-white, almost beige ribbon. So now what you're gonna do is cut um, a whole bunch of ribbon strips, your favorite ribbons, doesn't have to be the ones I use. That's the great thing about this because when we make a video to inspire you, it's just to give you ideas. So you are free to use whatever colors, whatever ribbons, whatever style you wanna do, feel free to do it. And if you do it, please message me on Instagram. I love to see what you guys make. And then I just take that, tie it up with some jute twine. And we're almost done with the bow. Now we're gonna take the tag sign and it was way too clean for my for my uh, aesthetic. I just, I needed to, to jazz it up a little bit, make it look a little bit more distressed, a little tattered, a little inked up. So I'm using Apple Barrel's Black as well as this Nut Brett, mut, wow, Nut meg brown color say that five times fast um yeah so i'm using that and i'm just gonna make it look a little tattered up and then once i liked how it looked i um i found this other ribbon now my toddler took this and he was running through the house with it so i had to salvage that little piece there and then add it on to that i thought it was so cute it was satin also from the dollar tree so once I got that off the toy cars, I put it on my bow, my ribbon, my ribbon bow there. And now I'm gonna add these roses from the Dollar Tree. So these were really nice. I'm telling you, their spring flowers are amazing. Now it's summer, but I got these in spring and they have those like sheer, shabby chic pinks, you know, those beautiful, um, I forgot what that's called. There's a word I'm looking for. I can't remember, but it's like that. Oh, dusty. There you go. Like a dusty rose color. I love those those roses. So I also got this little greenery from the Dollar Tree. I think it's called like Queen Anne something. That white little baby's breath looking thing. That was from the Dollar Tree as well. So I thought I was going to use three. I ended up using two. And I absolutely love how this came out. I put that burlap bow on top of those ribbons, the flow flowers on top of that, and I absolutely love how this came out. Not like Liz's, because Liz has all these fancy papers, and they're so beautiful. The Tim Holtz papers, she uses Sola flowers. You've got to check her out, guys. But Liz, I hope I did you justice, girl. I'm not, I'm not that fancy, but I hope I did you justice. Now, for DIY number three, we're gonna do this inspiration I got from uh, Teresa over at Our Green Acres and she took this mirror, vintage mirror that she had and she uh, spray painted it white. But I didn't have a mirror, but I had this frame. So I've had this frame for a long time and I'm gonna try to make it into a tray. So I'm taking these chopping mats from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna try to make that the bottom of the tray. I'm taking this apple barrel white color and I'm just gonna give this a rough coat. I don't want full coverage, which is why I'm using the Apple Barrel line. If I wanted full coverage, I could do three coats of this Apple Barrel white 
or I could use the Folk Art white for better coverage. However, I do not want full coverage. I do want to see some of that gold peeking through. So you'll see now that I paint the entire thing white. I upgraded the brush to a bigger chippy brush because I was taking forever to get it done. And this brush gives it a nicer texture. So I go ahead, I use this brush and my favorite color of all time. If you watch my channel, you know, I love this color, Warm Buff by Apple Barrel. And it's just gonna warm it up. I'm not really a stark white person. Neither is my family. <laughs> they destroy everything. So I need, I love that distressed look, that weathered, loved, I love it. And I think it speaks for Shabby Chic. So that's what I'm doing right now. Leaving some of that gold to peek through. I'm putting that warm buff to warm it up. And uh, I only put it on the outer edge. I do want that inner edge to be stark white. I don't know why. There is no method to my madness, but for some reason, I wanted the inside white, the outside warm. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this burlap and I'm gonna cut it one inch smaller than this cutting mat. Then I'm gonna use the two cutting mats from the Dollar Tree, sandwich them in between. Now you want to have the shiny side up because as you can see, now you can see the burlap a lot clearer than if you flip it the other way. Now we're gonna take this burlap sandwiched in between the two cutting mats and we're gonna hot glue it to the other side of our frame. So of course I needed to touch up the white. I don't know why I was obsessed with making this middle part white, but I really wanted it white. <laughs> so I touched it up one more time, took off the hardware in the back, cause this used to be hanging on the wall, but now it's gonna be on a surface. So I took off the hardware and then I was afraid that it was gonna scratch my surfaces of wherever I put that. So then I was obsessed with the fact of putting bubble wrap or some kind of cardboard. In hindsight, I would say use cardboard. I ended up using this bubble wrap because I thought, oh, cushion. No, no. It ended up being an advertisement for Amazon. And Amazon is not paying me for this video. So listen to me and use cardboard, guys. Look at that. I was so upset. All I did was put another piece of burlap on top because I was so upset that I had just hot glued the burlap to the back. So there you go guys, it's all done. We got this nice antique looking shabby chic tray. We got a nice little lampshade and that tag sign. Tell me, what do you think about this shabby chic today? This is my first time doing shabby chic on this channel, so tell me, do you guys like it? Do you like the ideas? I try to bring you guys different stuff, unique, you know, not the same old, same old. All right, let me know. Do you like this DIY? Which one was your favorite DIY? And do you like Shabby Chic? What is your favorite aesthetic? Leave it in the comments down below. And um, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. It really helps my channel to grow. And I'm so, so thankful for all of my new subscribers. Guys, you are amazing. And those comments that you leave brighten up my day. So go ahead and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would love to have you guys join the Arrows DIY crew. And until next time, guys, take care and I'll catch you on the next video. Have a great day, guys. Bye.